All right, I guess I'm for now. Uh, so yeah, what up, Vogue? This is Dre, aka DJ Anti Zero. For anybody that's new to this channel, and for all the old people, welcome back. Not old, but you know what I mean. Um, so what I have been doing lately was working on ways to increase my brand awareness. So I pit back up on Musically and Snapchat. So if you want to follow me on Musically and on Snapchat, it's Dre Hip Hop on both of those. Um, I have that going, and I found something interesting out on Instagram that I didn't know is like a thing. So like I tried it, I got a lot of views. So now I'm gonna keep going with it <laughs> and hopefully make something out of it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, nothing, nothing really like too much per se. I did my event yesterday. It wasn't bad. Um, shout out to T. Sean, shout out to Soup, and shout out to uh, Joshua, Joshua, I think that's his name. And then the last comedian that performed that night. I wish I got his name too. I actually want to get his Facebook, Facebook, so I can like keep up to date with him because he's actually pretty good too. But shout out to those people because I personally like their performance. Um. I was about to say, it was supposed to be called a 607 Talent, whatever. So it was comedians and performers. Uh, if you're going to ask me why I didn't perform, oh, honestly, I just wasn't in the mentality to perform. Just like this upcoming Sunday, there's a talent show, and I'm not in the mental state to perform. Um, mainly because I really want to get new songs, and I want to push the songs that I have archived in my... Um, in my computer, out. I have a, I have a, still quite a lot, uh, and the reason why I haven't uploaded music, all honesty, was because of one track that I needed to change one word, and I just haven't got around to that. So I'm most likely going to do that tomorrow night, and then see if I can release uh, the album cover this week, and then release the actual, my bad, the actual music. The, uh, not the following week, but that week of, that weekend of. Um, shout out to all the graduates from all colleges. And shout out to everybody that took their finals, passed, didn't pass. Um, at least y'all doing, you know, stuff. Me, on the other hand, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Can't say I'm really doing stuff, but I'm doing something. Uh, I'm excited for, you know, my future. I'm excited for my downfall because right now this is leading towards my downfall. And what I'm saying by that is because I don't have a job no more, I don't have uh, uh, a, a sure way of income, I'm working on it, but I want it to come from my music, whether it's DJing, whether it's rapping, whether it's dancing, or even vlogs. Uh, right now I'm making small side money, like side stuff, like, you know, I'm locking my phone to get paid. Um, walking to get paid, uh, stuff like that. But even with that, that's still not right now money. Like, at the end of the day, I think I can get the next three months around 100 to $120 from all the stuff that I'm doing. But again, because of how time-consuming it is, in order for me to take out the money, it's going to take two, three months. But because I'm doing so much of it, potentially I have enough for $100 within the next three, three months. Now, not get me wrong, I still have other ways of, you know, currently making money. I have a couple upcoming gigs um, that I'm looking forward to. One of them is my aunt's wedding. I'm not sure how much she's going to pay me. That is really up in the air right now. But I'm not really looking forward to payment. What I'm looking forward to is can I really do this event? I was really heavily against weddings because of how stressful it is on a DJ when it comes to music. And if it's worse than doing in a party, I honestly don't really want to do it. But because it's my aunt and she knows I'm a DJ, I'm going to do it. Um, I also found me a location here in Binghamton for me to practice my dancing at. So I'm going to be there on the regular. I wasn't there today um, just because of the fact that the time I woke up, and I was honestly waiting for my new speaker. Which, let me go, go grab real quick because I actually want to do a small review on that. All right, so I got this thing. I, <laughs> I honestly can't tell you what the name of it is called anyway. 
and I put my stickers on it, so it was a little nice. So I got this thing. Um, it was something I was looking up when I was online. Oh, she put me. Come on, hey Rocky. Um. Anyway, I got this today. This bad boy here, and it's because I was watching a YouTube channel video. Oh snap! I was watching a YouTube video. Uh, some guys, you know, reviewing it, and I was like, you know, let me pick one up. It's not that bad. I actually need something new, a little more stronger than my old uh, speaker, which was the Oots. And the Oots is actually was fire, in my opinion, uh, especially for the price it was. Um, I just, I needed something louder and a bit more bulkier because I wanted to go to the park and, you know, do dancing and go places here and there and do dancing. And I want to hear it clearly when I'm outside because the Oots was good for like indoor uses and whatnot and don't get me wrong it wasn't bad you know for outdoor uses but if I were to like use my phone to pick up the audio and whatnot that wasn't going to work so well so uh, <laughs> had to had to pick one of these up uh, originally I had gotten the the G Boom project which was if I'm not mistaken 10 or 20 dollars more than what I just you know showed you guys um, and Oh, honestly, I don't know why, but this, in my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, beats the G Boom project. Um, mainly because I feel like I can hear the bass. There's a difference. The G Boom project, you can feel the bass. You know it's there. And I'm talking from an outside perspective, like like being outside. You can feel it. You know it's there. But with this, I feel like I can like hear the boom in the bass. Uh, it's, it's tight weird. I always suggest buy both and then return one if you don't like it. It's technically what I'm about to do tomorrow or Monday or whatever upcoming couple days. Um, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with the G Broom project. It's just between that and this, I prefer this. There are some features I want this to have that the G, Pro, G Broom project to have. Unfortunately, eh, I don't have it, but I still like it. And I also like the fact that if I haven't tried it out yet, but according to the box on both ends, the G Boom project is supposed to play about seven to eight hours worth of music. This is supposed to play 30. Both have power, power banks on it. And I could be wrong about the G Boom project. It could be seven to eight hours when it comes to charging on the phone instead of like overall play time. But still, I feel like this beats it in regards to the fact, even me charging it, they did say seven to eight hours of charge time while also being on. Oh, that's cool. I like how secure it is. I felt like it's built for a punch versus the G Boom project. It feels sturdy and whatnot, but compared to that, that one feels like I right, it's ready to go to war or some like or something like I'm good, I'm set. Um <laughs> Yeah, that was my little review <laughs> on that. Um, so I will be also doing, we're going back to my live.me's. Um, I was supposed to do my podcast tonight. I might, or today, I might still do it tonight. Um, still thinking about it. So got to give me some time. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for my vlog. I don't have really much other than that. So let me not take anybody else's time or anybody else's time. Wow, Dre. It's my time. <laughs> so yes, check me out. All of, yeah, I just say Snapchat. So check me out on Snapchat, Musically, Live.me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Then that's it for now. <laughs> Dre Hip Hop. All of them Dre Hip Hop. Uh, or you just look at the hashtag if you, you know, the hashtag Dre Hip Hop. Give me a shout out if you like what I do, like what I have. And I cannot forget, I always keep forgetting to promote it. And probably the reason why I forget to promote it is because of the fact that I haven't posted anything since one. Two months? Wow. Okay, I definitely need to post something out. Uh, so my last mix is two months ago, my DJ mix. So I suggest, you know, stop by that as well. Mixcloud.com slash DJ Anti Zero. That is where I'll upload all my mixes at. I do not upload it on SoundCloud, YouTube, or any of that because of copyright issues. So I upload them there as the time being. And 
hopefully you guys enjoy so far a lot of people that has listened has enjoyed majority of my mixes I'm not going to say all of them because they haven't told me they say they like all of them but the ones I listen to every single one of them they liked and I feel like I've improved as the newer ones come along I actually have set up my DJ game just a little bit I found some more features that I want to use but with that being said and done like I said this is DJ Atai Zero aka Dre's Hip Hop Vlog and I'll see you guys later peace